so I actually hit my sales goal within about 30 minutes. Hey guys, so I am getting ready for a market today. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what the turnout is going to be. I'm not too hopeful. It's kind of just a small event, but I have to go get cash. I have to go get um, coffee, <laughs> but I'm going to go to the warehouse, get everything prepped. I also need to redo my setup because I was not happy with it and I got a four foot table to see if that'll help. So come along with me as we get ready for a Sunday market. Oh, it was so hard to get change or was that just a me experience? I don't know. I had to go to two different stores. Cashiers didn't want to do it. Tellers didn't want to do it, but I got it. And that's what matters. I have change for the market today. Being in the warehouse by myself is honestly kind of terrifying. Okay, so right now I'm having a bit of a hard time with my setup. The hardest thing about my business is that I have handmade and I have manufactured and trying to make sure that people are able to tell the difference between each. So I thought maybe a table for my handmade and then having a table for my manufactured would work. But honestly, I'm not vibing with this at all. I, I just don't think this is the look. And then I have this sh collapsible shelf that I got and I am trying to figure out where to put it. I mean, I'm probably not gonna know until I get there what's gonna be the best placement for it with like crowd, like flow and where I'm positioned, but we're trying. Also, I'm gonna be so honest with y'all right now. Look how awful my, <laughs> my cage looks. It is so messy. I have all of this handmade stuff I need to do. I have all the boxes unorganized. This is what happens when I go out of town for one day and I have a market. <laughs> but I have my Sherpa cows coming back, which I absolutely am so excited about. And look at these adorable bunnies I've been sewing. I honestly can't stop doing them. I find them addicting. And then the fan favorite, the weighted dragons. I mean, look at this guy. He's like probably three pounds. I can only bring like one of each design to this market because I am prepping for my Etsy launch. But if any followers come, they won't be able to have the chance to get this before anybody else. I had one or two people say they might stop by from online, which I'm really excited about. I have little goodies. I have some of my unreleased stickers that I'm gonna be giving to any followers that come. And I have these little fluffy bees that I got online that I am honestly just obsessed over. I didn't make them so they're not for sale. I only give them out as little freebies to anybody who comes by. But seriously, look at all these bunnies. Oh my God, this thread escaped me. Out. Okay, we are starting from scratch. That just didn't work. Okay, so I think I finally have my final setup for the market. I'm very excited about it. Ta-da! We have the manufactured dragons and my new manufactured notebooks. All of my handmade stuff, which is very exciting. Then most of the big boys are over here on this bookshelf, which by the way is collapsible, which is honestly really cool because I can actually store it in my car flat. And my little Jeep Renegade can only fit so much. So anything that I can get in there flat is huge. Little flowers in the moss, which is very exciting. Look at them, look at them go. I'm just excited about it. Then I have the cutting board and then I have the these cubes open the back so I can store important things. It's not perfect, but with the fact that I can really only do one table right now and I don't have my um, canopy, I think this is the best I can do. It's not the vision, it's not the vision, but the vision will come. <laughs> It's my second time selling in person, so I need to be a little more patient with myself. The June 10th Pride event, I am going to be having like three tables, a canopy, lights, and everything like that. So that is the goal. I really just want to stand out. I want it to look cute, but I also want the highlight to be my plushies. We'll see. I am very tired. It has been a very long day, but I am also really excited to just sell and like meet some other makers and just talk to other small businesses. Like owning a small business can be a little lonely sometimes and markets and artist alleys is a great way to just make connections and talk to people because I like to talk to people. <laughs> but my boyfriend Ryan is gonna come help me set up today, which I'm very excited about. He's really ready to just um, play Zelda while I sell things. I might sew a little before we go. If I have time after I pack everything up, I have about an hour and 15 minutes before my boyfriend gets here um, to help me bring stuff over to the other warehouse. I'm very hungry. Okay, we are all packed and ready to go. We have four bins, two tables and a bookshelf. And I finally get a chance to wear a little sprout hat. I'm going for a spring rainy day vibe. All we have to do is wait for Ryan to get here and help me load the stuff in because I cannot lift heavy things. And Old Faithful, 
she'll get me going. Okay, so I just arrived to the market and it's looking a lot more crowded than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm pretty excited, okay. I have a little break in the market and I am so happy because so many people came to say hi. It was, a girl came from Greensboro and I was so happy to see them. So thank you if you came by, I, it was so nice to meet y'all. Things have calmed down a lot, but I'm just enjoying talking to people and just meeting people, a good time. So I actually hit my sales goal within about 30 minutes of being here because of the followers that came like immediately when it opened, which was really exciting. So now I think the wave of people who came for me is kind of over and now it's just kind of natural traffic, but there isn't a lot of traffic. Um, but it's a really nice day out. I, uh, it, it's a fun time. That's what we're looking like two hours in. We got a lot of bunnies left, only one Sherpa cow. We sold a jumbo and we sold two of the weighted dragon and then book book and galaxy have been the winner of the popularity contest today we have sold out of the weighted dragons which is really exciting and you know it's 5 30 it's really slowing down a little bit but some followers are still coming by so it's really nice i'm i'm so excited dragon fruit dragon is the surprising least popular dragon this at this market and the bunnies are not doing as well as i thought they would but i think once i make some new colors and i'm like get a little carousel for him. I think it'll do a lot better. Officially over. So it is the day after the market and I took a minute to just settle down, sleep before I filmed this. Um, personally, it was a great success. I had a great time. I A lot of followers actually came to see me, which was insane. Like 10 people came and just for me. And that was wild like someone drove all the way from Greensboro to Raleigh and oh, that was just amazing that it was so cool to finally put names to faces and just be able to meet people like that's what I really enjoy about doing these now from a market standpoint I would not call it a success um I personally met my fi my financial goals like and but that's because of my followers they came for my weighted dragons for my handmade stuff that sells out really quick online they came for those and those are my higher ticket items so I was able to make more money than I expected in this uh market however um there was no foot traffic at this market it was it was a first time market and it was it was it was put together by the co-warehousing uh, company that I work out of, which is really great. And so it was really cool to see their other location. And honestly, there was a lot more people around than I thought there was going to be. But the problem was, is like, the market wasn't really well advertised at the loading dock, which I work at. And there was just no foot traffic going all the way down to where the sellers were. So a lot of people packed up and left early. Uh, it there was just not a lot of sales like natural organic sales but they are changing things up they are going to change the date it was on a sunday and there was also a lot of other art markets going on in raleigh that day the cards were against it but i think they're re-evaluating like when when to do it like it's a co-working space so they're gonna try and do it after hours on a work day like on a thursday um, so hopefully there'll be a little more organic traffic around the loading dock, which is, I think, a great idea. I still had a great time. I will go back and do it again, um, just because I really enjoyed the networking and talking to people, and it was, like, pretty close to where my warehouse is, so it really wasn't too big of a drive. My boyfriend got to sit there and play Zelda while I talked to people. It, it was a good time.
now I have to start prepping for Geek and Grub Market on June 10th, which is their Pride edition. So I got to work on my Pride bunnies. I'm going to start sewing some little tiny kittens. I think will do a lot better because I was surprised that the bunnies did not sell as well. I made them because I wanted a low price point plushie because they were $20, the cheapest thing I had on the table. But it was only bought by one person and that girl was so adorable. She was so cute like this like probably like five-year-old who was having the time of her life with that bunny and that made it worth it it did it did it did but I think I'm going to focus on the larger sized pride bunnies um gonna get some new fabric for that and also I want to make some little kittens and also making the jumbo weighted dragons because those were a big hit and I'm also going to work on my felt flower because I think having like a one to two dollar flower that people can buy is a lot better than having a twenty dollar plushie like I want I want multiple price points from people and I did sell a sketchbook which was so exciting it was the first one I've ever sold ah. so that's the end of today's vlog I thank you guys so much for coming along with me I had a great time I am hopefully gonna be doing vlogs of each of the markets I'm doing in June so keep an eye out guys I did not uh -oh, finish my outro so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time have a great day you guys